total destruction. This is how residents of the city of Taiz in Yemen describe the results of Saudi-led airstrikes on their neighborhoods. But the Saudi-led coalition on Monday suspended its air campaign to allow needed aid deliveries. A Saudi vessel loaded with 4,000 tons of food aid arrived at Aden port in an effort to meet the Yemenis' needs. Away from the continued clashes in Yemen, the country's foreign minister, Riyad Yassin, met with his French counterpart, Laurent Fabius, in Paris to discuss the renewed strikes by the Saudi kingdom. Saudi Arabia, who is on a mission to stop Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen, renewed strikes on the country over the weekend. Yemenis found it difficult on Monday to describe the aftermath. This residential town is for the employees of the Mocha power station. More than 63 people were killed and 150 others were wounded. More than 10 are in a critical condition. As you can see, the destruction is total. More than 50 percent of the homes have been totally destroyed. Local medical sources in Yemen said the death toll from the airstrike in Taiz has risen to 80 people, with at least 150 injured. It's still unclear why Saudi Arabia would target this residential area, designated for state employees. There are no weapons here. There is nothing here inside this city. And they are all peaceful people and families and employees of the power station. Across Yemen, clashes persisted in several areas on the ground, and the leader of Yemen's Houthi movement rejected a ceasefire planned by the Saudi coalition, saying such a truce would benefit only the Islamic State and Al-Qaeda, in a message posted on the group's Twitter account.